Hello, YouTube and fellow vans, builders. Where the hell have I been? Life. Life gets in the way. Sometimes have to put away your toys and look after the more important things. Where have I been? Well, I got married last August. That took up a whole bunch of my time getting ready for the wedding, which was amazing, great. And I know you're thinking, well, Andrew, that was last August. Well, you're right. When we got home from our wedding, we found out that there was gonna be an addition to our family. And our addition has arrived. His name is Axel. Beautiful, healthy boy, and uh, we're ecstatic about it. He showed up in April, which is why it's uh, been a little bit of an adjustment for myself and my wife, just getting everything settled. And now I think I'm finally ready to get back and get this tail section finally completed. So if you remember, we're still working on the left elevator. I'm just back riveting still these stiffeners on. Took me a while to remember where I was. And I just went ahead and I inspected a bunch of rivets that I had already done and went and marked some uh, notably terrible ones that needed to be drilled out. And I did that. One of the holes got a little oblong, so I ended up having to use an oops rivet. But that went very well. We are now ready to final bend the trailing edge seam there. I'm still gonna be making my jig. You see, I got my hinges here and I'll be uh, making a, I guess, trailing edge jig as noted in the plans with like a, a two by six or something to that effect. And I also have a one eighth dowel. That's kind of hiding back here. And I plan on having that kind of tucked in the root to make sure that we have a nice even bend there. Okay, so as you can see here, pretty basic, getting some hinges drilled down. Uh, I've already had these boards through a thickness planer and a jointer, so they're all square. And I'm just whacking these hinges on um, just roughly. I don't think this has to be too critical, but uh, it went pretty quick. Now one thing I will say is that uh, if you're going to make a set of these to make sure you cut your bottom board probably about four inches longer on either side than your top board because that's something I did not do and uh, it would make it a lot easier for me to clamp the entire assembly down to the bench so definitely keep an eye open for that one. Okay guys, I've never done this before, so this is we're gonna we're gonna learn learn together here. Um, so I have a a one eighth wooden dowel that I've taped into the root, so it's nice and flat, and um, I just have a piece of kind of foam that I'm supporting my surface with uh, because uh, it's elevated uh, as as per the the, the bending jig here. Um, I've tried to, uh, you know, get it as far into the root. You know, that's that's where I want it to be when we're when we're actually bending, and that's what I'm gonna kind of really be paying attention to, making sure I'm all the way buried inside there, and uh, and in here as well. So like. Tough to see, but so that's what I'm kind of going to be concentrating on, and uh, hopefully this works out.
I wonder if I'm like almost too far into the root and that's what's kind of preventing me from really getting good bend. So I might actually pull it away from the root of the hinge a little bit because I think I'm bottoming out on this dowel now. Yeah, I was definitely able to uh, get some more bend there. see how far we've come here I mean we've obviously made some progress um, I don't think we're quite there obviously I mean I'm liking the radius so far Let's come check out this side this side's not quite as sharp Keep in mind there's a radius on this corner that we're kind of using as a reference. Slowly keep at it, just so we're close to where the skeleton's going to be installed. So I actually think we might have overdone it a little bit here. Unfortunately, let's open it up and have a look. I'm pretty sure that's concave. So we're going to have to work that out because it needs to be dead flat. Let's see if I can get a better shot for you guys. basically depends on when the main spar goes in so let's throw it in and see how we did but I got the spar in code every third hole and uh, just gonna grab a ruler right here and we'll start checking and see how we did Now, that actually, I don't know. It looks pretty good. I just don't know if that's enough. Oh. See, that was me pulling on the skin there, so. See, now that's no good. And that's okay. So we need to achieve... See, that is what's no good. So, good. Basically, nice and square right to the radius. Not good. Yeah, there we go. That's what we don't want. No good.
Okay, so we have some more work to do. I think I'm just gonna leave this section kinda hanging out because it's already basically where I want it to be. Okay, so I had some good success with this tool here that you guys saw me make. Operated with some channel lock pliers, and that's working pretty well. So this is a 1 8 dowel, like I mentioned earlier. There's no real call out in the plans or the instructions on what you could put in there. Some people have used a 1 8, and I think for the majority of the bending, 1 8 is good, but I am gonna pull this out and I think put a 3 32nd, like TIG filler wire in there. Just allow me to get this a little closer. It's a lot better than it was, um, but, so I mean like we're, we're, I, I think we're just about there. Um, if I kind of check every station, might be a little bit more work to do with this guy. I mean, I'd really love some uh, some comments. I, I think I still need to do a little bit more here, but that 1 8 filler is actually kind of preventing me from getting this last little bit. So I think when I go down to the 3 32nd filler, I'll be able to get this nice and a lot tighter. But I'm pretty darn close, I think. A little bit to work, a little bit of work to do here. What about there? So I mean, that's not 
Great, I think we can do better. So I think I'm gonna leave this video off here. Uh, this was a great tool. Um, definitely go ahead and make one of these. It was cheap, it took me 20 minutes to make. Rounded the edges with my router a little bit. Some oak that I had kicking around. Some 332nd. 309 TIG wire and I'm probably just gonna pull this out and get some 332nd in there and I'll bring you guys back for the Next video where I'm pretty sure all this bending will be done. We're gonna get Assembling the spar skeleton get this thing rolling in video three Might be a fourth video to sealing up this elevator. We'll see how the third one goes for now I'll probably call it just to keep things a little lighter for you guys but i think things are going well it's nice to get back in the swing of things nice to be reading the plans and instructions again nice to be making videos again for you guys so if you have any comments or concerns or suggestions please throw them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe hope everyone's having a good day good long weekend